In 2012, the Egyptologist Dr. Zahi Hawass and a team of researchers from the Cairo University successfully obtained the YSTR markers of the Egyptian king Ramses III. Since then, there has been a lot of controversy because in 2012, a now outdated Y haplogroup predictor named Wit Athi was used to determine his haplogroup. That outdated predictor allegedly stated he belongs to a haplogroup predominant in West Africa, even though haplogroups don't really determine your race or ethnicity. But the Afrocentrists started using that outdated information to push forward their claims that he was black, opposing to the fact that his mummy and his depictions say absolutely otherwise. What made this situation even worse is that some private DNA companies started selling this false information, furthermore fueling the black supremacist groups and black Americans eventually fell for it. As they say, out with the old and with the new. So in this episode, we will refute the Afrocentric claims and reveal what is his real haplogroup based on a new, more developed predictor. The haplogroup predictor is named Nevgen and was developed by Milo Sitkovic Gentula and ACO Nevsky in 2015. The Nevgen haplogroup predictor stated he belongs to the E1b1b haplogroup, specifically the subclade V22, which is found in its largest number globally among modern Egyptians, specifically northern Egyptians. This isn't really surprising for an Egyptian king to have an Egyptian haplogroup. So the next time you see some we was kings using this outdated information or misleading report from a private DNA company, send him this video.